Hi! Um, for the project, I decided to go ahead and stick with makeup. Uh, in my discussion post, I did mention that if I were to be in a technical part of the stage production, I would like to do in, like to do makeup, and I went ahead and I stuck with that. I chose the play Hamlet, and the three characters that I chose. Now, I did go off of a just general of what I viewed the characters as nothing scene specific. I think the only thing that I did specific uh, is just try to get a little bit of embodiment in the characters, like having them pose a certain way. Um, but nonetheless, the three characters that I did, I did the ghosts in the beginning of the story that looks like Hamlet. Um, oh, if I didn't say this, I'm doing Hamlet, but I'm doing the ghost. And then the second character is going to be Ophelia. And then the third character is going to be Gertrude. And I'll go a little bit more into details on makeup of what I've done. Just a second. Now, this is uh, my lovely friend, Malcolm. He was going to help me with my first character, which is, you know, the ghost that looks like Hamlet. And this is a before picture. Here's after. Now, a few things that I did to kind of capture the look that I have going on for, for him currently is I got a foundation that was a couple shades lighter than what he is. That way it didn't give him like a necessarily white look, but a pale look. I didn't want to completely lighten up his skin completely just subtly that way to give him a ghostly look and then I did take um, some foundation that was closer to his skin tone and patted it around his eye areas in order to create a sunken eye look um, I feel it gives a really good embodiment of being a ghost and then uh, I did also darken up his beard and his facial hair in order to make it more full. I wanted to give him a little bit more of a sulken look and I just wanted to fill out areas that I could. Um, yeah, uh, that's kind of what I did. Nothing too extravagant. I did try to mess up his hair a little bit, uh, try to give him a messy look, but it didn't work out and that's okay I think with what we have and uh, it would work really well especially on stage just because of how dramatic of the look it is and here's a little bit of a close-up just in case for the next two characters Ophelia and Gertrude I did end up portraying as my own model Here's the look that I did for Ophelia now for Ophelia I did more of a softer look because I know a little bit more uh, as far as like historical times they didn't really have too much makeup back then and it's not as the way that we apply it now so I didn't want to go too out there but I did want to still give her a soft look now I did do um, some face makeup I didn't do anything too heavy I just did a face powder I did uh, put blush all along this area right here because I did want to give her a like I said a soft but also sun-kissed look as if she had been outside um, and I did apply a pink lip gloss I think that it gives the right compliment to the blush I did add highlights a little bit of shimmer on the nose and right up here above the lip and then for the eyebrows I did something very light very minimal as, as well as the eyelashes just something to show that she's younger and that she doesn't really need too much makeup or that she doesn't have too much makeup um yeah you know i think the goal of what i had as far as like soft and and young i think i did okay on that department Oh, and it's kind of hard to tell. I did add like soft eyeshadow, like like light pinks, nothing too major. Like I said, very minimal, very, I guess a natural almost look. Showing you the before one more time before I show Gertrude. I didn't have the best lighting for this, but I, I will be switching between pictures. That way you can kind of see from all angles. Um, 
for Gertrude, I did use contour. I did use face makeup. I went, I kind of went through the all nine miles because she is an older uh, character. She's the mother of Hamlet. So I just wanted to showcase that she that that's what she has um i did some contour right into here i did add a little bit in the uh, eye eye for forehead creases my apologies as you can see i did eyebrows i added lashes you've got the lipstick in there and when it came to the eye makeup on Gertrude as well, I still stuck with simple, but I wanted to add the eyelashes because she is royalty. So she's got to have the look, you know? I had to do another video just so I could make sure it all fit onto here. But um, you can also see a little bit more here. Like I said, I did the contour right here. I did give her some lip makeup. She's got some simple eye makeup aside from the eyelashes. I just wanted to give her the eyelashes in order to give a little bit more of a... Um, telltale sign of between Gertrude and Ophelia because I can't do hair either I'm just not good at it so I kind of wanted to because I'm playing you know same model different characters um I did some nose contour uh yeah that that's essentially what I did um thanks for watching and yeah I can say that doing these makeup looks these past few days has definitely given me a different side of production because as you may have seen in discussion posts, I, whenever I did theater, I was typically on the actress side. I was the one getting my makeup done. So I think having to think about all those little details, you know, as far as like historical accuracy, um, what kind of makeup products are going to come out best in this kind of situation. I think that's something that a lot of makeup artists should get credit for if they haven't already, which I know SFX, they're, they're always, as you know, special effects, they're always getting it. But I think just the typical makeup artists, you know, the way that they pay attention to details, patterns and repetition, um, you know, I think that's something that shouldn't get ignored and especially whenever it comes to a stage production because you know everyday makeup's not going to look the same on stage you know sometimes you've got to be dramatic just so it can pop out very well and it, it acts accent that character so um just to kind of draw this all into a conclusion with the ghost that looks like Hamlet. I did go for a sunken in look, um, something that I know would pop out on stage for Ophelia. I did go for a light look just to make her look young and, and bright. And then for Gertrude, I did go for more of a sophisticated look, but while, um, while doing a nice look i did add in some contour just to make sure that i do get those edges and creases and i mean you probably can still see a little here i apologize for that but yeah uh thank you so much and if there's any feedback i would definitely love it